it's Jeffrey with Real Nifty Vintage and this is 10 favorite items that I sold in the month of July. So the first item up right here is a really neat set of steak knives and I don't remember where I got them. I think it was from an estate sale for maybe one or two dollars but they are really nice mid-century knives with the box in great shape. They are Sheffield, England. They sold for $28 with shipping included. And I believe the shipping on this was first class. If it wasn't, then it was it went in a bubble mailer. But when I bought this originally, this was all covered up with this tacky 1970s contact paper. So just because I thought the paper was terrible and didn't go with the knives, I tried to take it off. And luckily it came off really well because here's the original box. So it makes it look a lot better so it doesn't look so much like the 70s but very fun knives next up oh boy this was a crazy thing to try to ship it is a 1970s goddess lamp with the oil that runs down the strings really interesting i think i paid around 35 dollars for this at a flea market and that's a really great deal for these it did take a lot of work to try to clean it up and make sure that it worked well. So I bought the mineral oil at Walmart and poured it in there and it works, you know, it worked just great. So really awesome with this, the way this turned out. And I paid, like I said, about $35 and it sold for $255 with shipping included. Now the shipping on that was roughly about $50 with insurance and it did take about 30 minutes to wrap it. So there was a time investment involved in this, but it was a really great return on the money. So really happy with the way this turned out with the goddess lamp, really fun piece. Next up is these really cool juice glasses with these fun, vibrant starbursts all over them. And this is a unique set, pretty rare, to find. This was actually a Facebook marketplace purchase. I was going through Facebook one day and I seen that someone had this listed for $15 in a nearby town. So I decided to head on over there. I think it was the same day and pick them up. I'm glad I did because, well, I really didn't even know what these, these were valued at. I just know, I just knew that they were uh, desirable because of the starburst and the fact that they had the box and everything so and I think in my head I was like oh like 60 bucks well let's see here they sold for uh, about 120 <laughs> so that was really exciting yes 120 dollars and that did include shipping the shipping was about 15 dollars of that so you know all in all a really great pickup this is a unique item because of this spout right here. They call it the easy pour. So it also not only is a spout, but it also keeps the freshness in. There's like a flap on, flap on the inside that closes whenever it's in the upright position like this. So a really, really cool juice set. Next up is this, I had to include it. It's this, oh, they're, they're calling it a romance blanket but it fits a twin or double size bed, it says. Beautiful 1970s coloring here in this wool or acrylic, whatever it is. I think I put nylon or acrylic. Wait, it might even say that. Yeah, actually it says that. So um, really interesting blanket, never used, still has the original label on here, which is outstanding. This sold for $42. Now I probably, well, I should have gotten more for this. I wanted to include it because it is a new old stock blanket and those are always fun for me to pick up and they are pretty easy to list. But something like this technically should have went for like 60 or $70 with shipping included. But for some reason I made an error in pricing it. That's okay. It sold fairly quickly and was pretty easy to ship. I did underestimate the shipping t weight of this because it, it's actually heavier than it looks. So that's all right. I think I paid, you know, a dollar for this or something like that. It's all fine. All good. Next up are some boopy glasses. That's a fun word. Boopy. 
They are anchor hawking bubble foot glasses, so they have clear bottoms and this forest green or emerald green top to them. And they're really fun, really fun water glasses from the 50s or so. And these sell routinely for about $10 a glass. So I have here a set of, I can't count, six, <laughs> six glasses, and they sold for $72 with shipping included. So yeah, a really nice, nice item to sell and I've sold these before I've sold them in this size and in the smaller custard size glasses they're a little bit shorter and not really for drinking obviously and they sell too so really fun really great item this actually was an item that I sold with before I even had a chance to list it so one of my subscribers seen this in a video and wanted it instantly so that was fun. I did this quick snapshot just so I could put it in, put it in the listing. And I just love this cake plate. It has such a great retro vintage look to it. Well, because it is vintage, but it is just so quintessential to the 60s. And I love the splatter on here, the copper colors. It's just a really great piece. And it sold for $45 with, with shipping included. So it's a locking cake plate. This top piece here locks to the bottom so you can carry it that way. Though I don't think I would trust that because the locking me mechanism is simply just a little metal piece that slides over and covers this ridge right here, this bottom ridge on this top plate. But all in all, a great piece to have. Next up is this cute little boot. It's a little carnival glass, old Virginia, old Virginia glass. I think it's also Fenton. Somehow I think Fenton is involved with this. I don't remember, but I believe it is. So it's a really cool little shoe. And I paid, I think, $2 for this. So not much at all. It's in really great shape without any issues. And it sold for $24 with shipping included. That's a really great return on that. There it is marked on the bottom, OVG for Old Virginia Glass. So this just went in a first class box, meaning that the shipping was under $5 very very fun now this made the list for one of my favorite things because this is something that i've been dreading on listing just because of how reflective it is i hate how it picks up everything like a mirror so i had two of these available i was kind of just waiting to list them until i got the sudden urgency to do so but i finally did and within like two or three days of listing both of them i sold both of them so the first one sold for like $30 with shipping included. And then and that, that happened within like a day. So then I was like, whoops. And then I went and I changed my pricing to $34. And it's still the second one sold within another day. Now, since then, I went and bought more of these. So that's why I have quantity three of this particular little penguin thing. And it's shaped like a penguin, as you can tell, with penguins on the outside of it embossed but I went ahead and refilled my quantity. So now I have three more of these available at $34. And that is the price that I sold the second one for. So these should technically sell, but they have not sold yet and it's been over a week. So I don't know. I think it's just gonna happen with, an, with a certain amount of an influx, probably when holidays come back around for things like this, when they're going to be needed again. So very fun piece, I'm glad, glad they go for that much. I think this set of three here I bought for, I think $5 or $4.75 a piece. So great return on the money on those as well. Next up is these lamps. So I've had these for a, a while now and I bought them for $20 for the pair of them at a resale shop nearby where I have my antique booth at. And it's kind of just a hole in the wall type of a place. And so $20 was pretty fair. So I bought them not, not knowing how much I could probably get for them. And I've had them for quite a while, probably six months or more. And they're really interesting. They're, they're not in perfect shape by any means. They do have some minor flaws when you look up close to them. Well, I think I can find. So yeah, here is the top piece that hits the ceiling. This mounts to the ceiling and there is some wear to the metal and then Right here, there is some of the finish, this white frosted finish that wore away. 
So there was some, some issues with it, some minor issues, but all in all, a great pair of these. They do, they do hang together as one unit and you can either use like a swag chain by putting an, another hook in the ceiling or let them hang straight down like this so that they'll be a little bit more asymmetrical. But they are really interesting and they sold for $195 with shipping included. Again, with these big purchase, these big lamps and things, they do take a lot of time to wrap and to, so that they don't arrive broken, of course. Uh, on the shipping, that was about another $50 or so. Again, that's on the high side, but my, my cost in was $20. They sold for basically $200, so I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. Going forward, I'm going to be a little bit more selective on things like this, on lamps. I will say that I've tried to sell these for months and months, like I said, and I tried originally for around $300, I think even as high as $400 because of how interesting they are. But all in all, happy that they sold really fun pieces. Now, the last thing on the list is these really fun Glamalite tumblers by Fire King. They are really, really cool quintessential 60s and also pretty rare. So the first time I bought these, I bought two of them. I think the first ones I bought were a color like this and a color like this. Maybe maybe it was this and then like a weird green color. Not, not, not as vibrant as this. So it was two colors that were kind of weird. I bought them separately about a month or two ago and listed them within, I think, three or four days they both sold and well I had them listed as a pair and the pair of them sold for I want to say forty dollars with shipping included but it might have been thirty dollars with shipping included I don't remember but anyways I sold the set of four of these just now or just recently and they sold for eighty four dollars with shipping included very very cool now the shipping on these were probably about ten or twelve dollars so still walking away with like seventy bucks on these that said i did pay up for these because i knew what they were so i bought these at an antique mall and they were for the set of four of them twenty four dollars they were six dollars a piece so I paid up for them. I knew that they were going to sell for good money. So cost in was $26. They sold for about $70. So the difference there is my net return. So that's about $40 or $50. Very nice, I think. So that is the month. That is like the really cool things or the, the things I want to, you know, showcase, so to speak. But I did sell a grand total of 90 items in the month of July. That is a lot. That is a lot of items. So really happy with how that has been going. August so far has not been as great, but it's still been pretty good for a summer, for a summer month. So that is all I have to report. Thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments below what you thought of everything. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye.